In this video, we're going to store email token in our email tokens database table. So we've just created a new table called email tokens, and we have prepared uh, a script which generates a unique email token, um, 16 characters length. And now we can go ahead and um, create a new um, uh, function which will take this token and will insert this token in our database table. And uh, all our functions that communicate or that deal with a database, we have um, organized in a class which is called MySQL data access object or MySQL down. And this class contains all of the uh, functions that we use to communicate with a database. So I will simply copy one of the functions that uh, performs uh, insert because we are going to insert a new token into our database and I will rename this uh, function into insert email token or we can call it store email token okay and this function will uh, contain uh, I mean this function will accept a few parameters and one of them will be uh, user ID and another will be um, the uh, token itself. So um, user ID and email token. Okay. And the database table is called email tokens. So I'll just copy its name like this. It's called email tokens so the NSQL query will go insert into email tokens set and the rest we will need to change set user ID equals and email token equals let's double check email token uh, the spell of email token um, column so I need to open email tokens table and then need to switch to a database to table structure here so I switch to structure and I look up user ID spelling and email token there is underscore in between okay and I go back to my script and then double check insert into email token set user ID equals email token equals question mark and now I need to provide so first of all uh, let's provide correct data types user ID is going to be an integer so I will need to use a, a database uh, type I mean a, a special type I which is which stands for integer and then for email token it's going to be a string um, a set of characters so I will use uh, an S to specify string data type uh, okay and uh, here the first parameter is integer which is user ID and the second parameter is email token so I'll copy this value here email token so uh, we have prepared our parameters and the last statement will execute this SQL query which will insert user ID and email token into our uh, database now we can store we can call this store email token function from our register user so uh, we will uh, refer to uh, database uh, DAO here we have DAO object which stands for which is our MySQL data access object so I'll copy its name and I will say DAO and refer to its function which is called store email token and that function accepts two parameter user ID which we don't have yet user ID will come from uh, user details here we call user details to read all the user details for specify email address from database so this user the user details array will contain user ID um, key so I will use it here this is our user ID and email token is this value so I'll copy it and I paste it into my function okay so this um uh, ideally uh, we are going to test very soon but uh, hopefully there is no errors and store email token uh, function will successfully record a new 
a user if you want to uh, go to that uh, function declaration of that function you can hold command button on your keyboard and then simply click on the name of the function and it will take you to the function uh, in uh, in the mysql data access object class okay so we are done with um, inserting a user token into a database let's continue uh, let's continue next